Hello guys, I'm Data, and welcome to another review. This time we have the season finale, the big ba-boom of Hannibal. Season 1, episode 13. 13 episodes in all, and what can I say about this episode? What a great episode. 100% the best episode of the whole series. In my opinion, out of 10, I would give it a 10. I'm not even joking. Perfect score. I could, there's nothing wrong with this episode. I enjoyed every single second of it. Glued to my TV the whole time. But, why is it my, the, my favorite episode? Well, you're about to find out. Before I tell you all my reasons and go through the whole episode, just want to let you guys know it will contain spoilers. So if you do not want to know what happened, watch the episode and come back. Now, before I get right into the rhythm of this and go through every single thing that happened, I just want to say that this season finale was great. It turned everything that we thought was going to happen and just 180 it and did the complete opposite. And I don't even know how season 2 is going to start, but it's just amazing. This show is just great. And now we're going to have to wait for season 2, but let's, I was praying the whole time that this show would get renewed, and it did. So thank the heavens that this show got renewed, but let's get right into this. So right off the bat, we see Will. He's in a dream, and he's going after the moose he's been seeing and almost every like hallucination he's been in, it's like a black moose. And he's a hunter, basically he's Hobbs, he's dressed up as Hobbs basically. He's going after it and he like goes to the moose, it's on the floor like almost dead, there's blood everywhere, he's looking around like what's going on? And he sees this antler guy, it's this guy completely black, all skin, completely black, 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 black white eyes and just antlers out of his head it looks really creepy at you know and it's kind of weird that every episode you know someone dies here someone dies here the angel maker rips the backs open cuts the mouth in half like you know all this stuff this is what i found the most disturbing for some reason i don't know but what does the moose represent and what does this man antler guy represent i think it really represents will and hannibal now, it well, I think it really represents the copycat killer because we'll find out soon why I think that. But I think it's really representing Will and his own fears and what he thinks himself is turning into and what he's trying to catch, what he's trying to keep. That being said, Will wakes up and there's dirt all over his feet. So he goes to the sink and he uh, takes some pills, he, you know, just washes his face and he throws up an ear. Like, what the? So then he, there's just an ear in his sink. So Hannibal shows up, he calls Hannibal, and Will says, you know, I went with Abigail to Minnesota, and she didn't come back, but I did, and I don't remember what happened. And then Hannibal sees the ear, and he's like, okay, this is actually happening. Of course, we know pretty much Hannibal set this up. He was last with Abigail, and yeah, he actually did kill Abigail, so Abigail is dead. And he, yeah, he's pinning everything on Will. So again, how would he get... Like, Abigail's ear into Will. I have no clue, but he did it. Um, so, he's, Hannibal sees the ear, and he's saying, okay, you know what? We have to call Jack. We can't run from this. We have to face it. You know, well, you have to face it, basically. So then the FBI comes. Jack's house is a crime scene now. There's, you know, the tape all over. Jack's there. All the agents are there. You know, ev everyone's there. And basically, Will is brought in. He's not arrested, but he's just put into custody, I guess. Uh, I'm really cussing. He's just like brought to the FBI place to be like questioned. And, you know, Jack says, you know, what are we going to find in Minnesota, Jack? And he says, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And again, he's been hallucinating, so he really doesn't. And it's truthful. He really does not know. So then they start questioning Will, going over some evidence, and there's blood under Will's fingernails. And Beverly is actually taking it off. And she's like, you know, what's going on? And, you know, he's, she even says, like, what do you think? And he's like, well, Will says, according to the evidence, I killed Abigail. I don't remember it, but you know what I mean? And Alana goes to Jack. And this was probably, like, a really good scene for me. Like, I thought this was great. So, Alana goes to see Jack. And she basically says, you know, you said he wasn't going to get too close. And look at him now. You know, he's completely gone. And it was your fault. And she was basically blaming everything. There was this one scene, too, in the show where Alana goes into her car, and it's really cinematic, like it's almost like a movie, and she's crying in her car, but it's silent, it's, just, I thought it was so beautiful, Re really great scene, and, um, so, Alana says, you know, we need to treat this, and Jack says, well, maybe there isn't anything to treat, and, yeah, that's, like, that's the big question, and, obviously, Hannibal knows that, yeah, you can treat this, but he obviously doesn't want anyone to know that, 
And he, Jack even says, you know, maybe he did what Hobbes wanted. Maybe he went into, like, the full mind of Hobbes and he killed Abigail. That's what the big thing is, and that's what Hannibal is trying to make it look like and pin it on Will. So, yeah, then there's this touching moment with Abigail. I mean, uh, with Alana, like I said, in the car. She's, like, crying, and it's crazy. And she then she goes to Will, and she says, you know, I feel wounded. Like, I don't know what to think about you. And Will says, you know, Hannibal made me draw a clock. And when I drew it, he said everything was okay. It grounded me in it. Like, whatever. He knows nothing, blah, blah. He's just angry. So, he says, okay, uh, Alana says, okay, draw me a clock. She, he draws a clock for him, and it's messed up. And Alana looks almost happy at this point. Because maybe she realizes that, well, maybe this can be treated and Will can be saved. So then we go to a scene with Hannibal. And Hannibal's actually crying, and he's talking to a psychiatrist, like his own. And he, he's just saying, you know, I want to believe that Abigail is alive, but I can't. And he feels bad, like... I think he really does feel bad that he himself killed her. Obviously, he's not going to say that to the psychiatrist, but... Again, he did kill her, but he w like even right now he says, you know, I, I kind of it kind of interested me, like I always wanted to raise a child, and Abigail was basically his child at this point, and he was, you know, he was really interested. He was saying like, you know, I was guiding a life. It was really interesting to me. I really cared for her, but ultimately, he ultimately he did have to kill her, and I think he really didn't want to, but there wasn't any other choice, so he had to. So I think he actually really was sad for that. And even uh, Hannibal's psychiatrist says, you know, I don't want you to participate in rehabilita rehabilitation of Will because, well, you know, you've done so much now to kind of, like, stray him and do all this stuff. Don't. Don't even try to help him. And, uh, he, and, yeah, so that's about it for that. So then, four of Will's lures are human. This is what happens. They go through some evidence even more, and they find Will's uh, fly fishing lures, and they're all parts of humans, and every lure is a different one of the victims of the copycat. So now Hannibal's, like, pinning every killing that he did to Will, and saying, like, these are trophies, you know? Will's a serial killer. And Alana's like, no, 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 he can't be a serial killer. And Jack even says, too, like, why, he's taking trophies? Like, this isn't Will. Like, they can't believe it. But, you know, all this evidence piles up, and they kind of have to. So then, uh, Will sees the man antler guy again, completely black, black white, white eyes and antlers. Again, it's, you know, he's kind of hallucinating, kind of not. And basically, Jack says, you know, we're going to move you to a psychiatry ward and all this stuff. And obviously, Will's, like, saying all this stuff, like, I don't want to, it's not going to help me, blah, blah, blah. And he even says, I can't confess something I don't remember. And then Jack tells Will about the lures and everything. And Jack says, you know, I wasn't sick when some of these murders happened. I would have remembered them. Why don't I remember them if I'm the killer? And he even says, you know, he says to Jack, you should be afraid of whoever's doing this to me. You know, it, it's someone close, someone in forensic. They have to know the cases. They have to know I'm unstable. And he, this is what really interesting, too. He says, you know, it could have been, it could be you, Jack, for all I know. And I thought that was really, like, a really tense moment. It was just crazy. At that point, you basically know Hannibal turned Jack and Will on each other. Just crazy what this Hannibal can do. It really is. So at this point now, Will is arrested for murder, and they put him in an armored car. And while Will is in this armored car, he's handcuffed. He breaks his own thumb, slips out of the handcuffs, and gets out. Crazy moment, and again, this even just makes him look more like a serial killer, so... So, Alana and Jack talk to Hannibal now, and Alana shows Hannibal the clock. And Hannibal's like, yes, I made him do the same exercise a couple weeks ago. Here's what he did. And he just pulls out a regular, normal clock. And he's like, okay, you know, he was fine. Obviously, Hannibal's straight lying, so that's, you know, just more proof that he's pinning it on Will. So then they ask the question, do you think Will could have called Hobbes the morning of, you know, his attack and everything? And Hannibal says, well, you know, I was there, but I was picking up files off the ground, and he was alone for a few minutes in, in the, you know, the little cubicle thing. And, again, he switched them around there, so, again, he's pinning it on Will even more. And then we go to another scene with Hannibal, and he's just alone in his little room, his little psychiatry room. He's alone reading, and he smells something, and he wills upstairs. So Will says, you know, do you know, are you confused on who I am? And he says, you know, it's possible you killed Abigail, I don't know. And he's like, you know, and this is something else interesting that Will says. He says, well, if it was just Abigail that I killed, I would have believed it, because I, I probably have been gone too far in being Hobbes. You know, it's really, uh, you know, cramping my mind. I would have believed it. But all these, the copycat killers, all these killings, I just don't think that it's me. 
So at this point, one of the best scenes in the whole thing, Hannibal like disputes the killings and how it could be Will, and each time he brings up the killing, the body's there, like Will's envisioning it, it's all in black, and he sees the man antler guy. Really, really creepy. So then Hannibal, uh, Will says, sorry, not Hannibal, Will. Will says, I want to see where Abigail died. So Hannibal does, he puts him in a car, and they drive away. So Jack and Alana think Will is bringing Hannibal to where he killed Abigail, and maybe he's going to kill Hannibal. So again, it's just more evidence, and they think, well, you know, Will's so unstable, maybe he's doing this, but again, it's switched around. Hannibal's actually doing it. Um, so then they go to Abigail's house. So when they get in there, Will's like, you know, maybe we should react the call. And, you know, your hog, blah, blah, blah. He recalls, like, the what Abigail said a bunch of episodes back. And he even says, you know, are we going to re reenact the crime about Abigail and the phone and everything? And they go to where Abigail was killed, and her throat was cut in the same spot where she was supposed to die when Hobbs cut her. So it's, like, almost reenacting that. And, again, that plays on the fact, yeah, it was probably you, Will, because, look, you're reenacting it, blah, blah, blah. But, again, it's just Hannibal. So he's saying, you know, I, I know who I am, but I'm not sure who you are anymore, Hannibal. He says, you know, one of us killed Abigail, and I'm not sure who. And Will pulls out a gun. He just points at Hannibal, and he says, I can see you now. You called that morning, and Abigail keep your secret the whole time. Will finds out that Hannibal is the killer. He found out. How, I don't know why they would do this, but it played out so well. In uh, Red Dragon, and all the other movies, Sons of the Lambs, you know, Every other movie with Hannibal in it, Hannibal Rising, Hann Hannibal has been caught by Will. But he doesn't find out for a while. And I mean, this show, if it's going to run, and, it, and obviously it's been renewed for another season, and, you know, Will already knows that, he, that Hannibal's the killer, what's going to happen? And that's where the big surprise was. That's what really just pulled me in. I was like, what is happening? And it was, I was just really pulled into the screen and great great episode really surprised me i would have never predicted that so he's like will basically knows that he killed all those people and that hannibal is actually the killer so at this point jack walks in and he's saying you know you were curious what i would do you wanted to watch me go insane my the disease and everything he's saying he f will figured everything out and it's it's funny that he even said you were curious and he says it like like almost like he's really disturbed like he's you were just curious weren't you like he was just saying that almost like he's about to cry really touching moment and of course jack walks in right at this point when will's holding a gun to hannibal to make it look like he's even more of a serial killer but you know again hannibal just plays with everyone he, and he does it so well um, so then Jack shoots uh, shoots Will, like just like in the armor, not, nothing that would kill him. And Will falls back. He was about to shoot Hannibal too. He falls back, and he falls back in the same spot that he, where Hobbs fell when he shot Hobbs. And he's in the same corner, and they, they look at him, uh, Jack and Hannibal, and he just says, see, see. And if you recall, when Will first shot Hobbs and he fell back into the corner... Um, Will went down, tried to help Abigail, and Hobbs looked directly at him and said, see, see. So it was like, you know, it's coming full circle now. And I think Will's with Hobbs, this whole thing with Hobbs is probably going to be done now. He's like l relived the whole thing again. But that was just crazy how to, it went full circle. And, you know, the th really crazy thing is Will looks up and he says, see, I see. And you, you see Hannibal, and instead of Hannibal, where Hannibal is sit standing, it's the antler guy, the whole black, white eyes with antlers. So, yeah, this guy, this monster thing that Will keeps on saying was probably representing the copycat, and it's standing right in front, right where Hannibal's standing. So, again, Will sees clearly for the first time. He puts it all together. Yeah. So, now Will's in the hospital right now, and Hannibal's there, and Jack's there. And Hannibal's saying, yeah, that we found out that his, the right side of his brain is inflamed and he should recover. Wow, finally he brings it out. But again, Hannibal looks like the good guy here. Will looks like the serial killer when it's reversed. So then Hannibal has his own personal psychiatrist over for dinner. And she says, you know, what, what's on your mind? And Hannibal says something very interesting. He says, I'm going to go say farewell to Will tomorrow for good. You know... It's just, uh, I can't deal with this anymore. I tried to help him, but while I was helping him, I, I kind of sacrificed Abigail, so I want to stop. And he actually brought over veal to eat with his psychiatrist, and he says, oh, yes, veal's very good. You know, it has to be like a young cattle 
that pointed directly at Abigail. So they are most likely, I'm 90% sure they're eating Abigail. And I love how it's so subtle that, yeah, this is Abigail. Like, they don't just straight say it. It's just literally little hints that you really have to pay attention and you'll get. That's why I love the show. Um, so then Hannibal walks into pri the prison and he's walking in. And it's the same place where Dr. Gideon was held. Uh, Hannibal walks in and he just stops. He looks around. Music starts playing, like the bum bum bum, you know, it's classical music. He walks down, looks straight at Will. Will walk, gets up, stares at him. Will's in jail now. He's in one of the cell cells. And his, like, the jacket that he's wearing, the jumpsuit, looks identical to the one Hannibal wears in Silence of the Lambs. So I, that's really ironic. They're just staring at each other, and Will says, hello, uh, Hannibal says, hello, Will. And Will says, hello, Dr. Lecter. And it just goes to a close-up shot of Hannibal and he just he's just looking and you see a faint smile he just smiles for a second and that's basically saying like I won that's basically what it is and it's really crazy that they did this because and everything else we have of Hannibal anything with uh, Hannibal Lecter in it it's the reverse Hannibal's in jail and we see you know Clarice talking to him like that's it, it was really crazy that they did that and I'm not sure what's gonna happen but again will um Sorry, Hannibal won. That's basically what, what this is. And that last scene with him smiling right at the end was so crazy, just maniacal. It was just... It made me hate Hannibal. And let me say this before I, I close off this episode. Every episode, I love Hannibal. I thought, you know, he's a genius. Just how he manipulates everyone. I thought he... I loved him. I love his character. This episode, I truly started to hate him. Because I just felt so bad for Will. And now it's kind of like pulling. Like, I like Will. I like Hannibal. But, you know, they're opposite forces here. And I don't know what to like. I don't know who to hate. I don't know who the, who's a good guy. I don't know who's a bad guy. And that's how Jack and Alana feel. 100%. So that... I thought this episode was 100% amazing. 10 out of 10... 100%. It's just amazing. The show was great. This whole season was really, really good. What's going to happen in season two? Only one prediction. I was talking with some fellow Hannibal enthusiasts, and they basically said, you know, maybe Alana's going to, like, visit Will, kind of see what's going on, and, and you know, Hannibal, uh, Will's going to try to convince Alana, and Will's going to work through Alana to, to get Hannibal. That's probably what's going to happen. I don't see anything else that can happen. Is Will going to break out? I don't think so. It seems too cliche. But overall, again, I know I've said this like a thousand times, but this was an amazing episode. You know what? This show, Hannibal, is the best new show I have seen in a long time. And right now, it's my favorite show on TV. Too bad it just, you know, the season ended. But I just cannot wait for season two. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions for me, you can send your questions into my inbox on YouTube, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya, guys.